I am a Filipino, inheritor of a glorious past, hostage to the uncertain future. As such, I must move equal to a two-fold task. The task of meeting my responsibility to the past, and the task of performing my obligation to the future. I sprung from a hardy race, child of many generations removed of ancient Malayan pioneers. Across the centuries, the memory comes rushing back to me of brown skinned men putting out to sea in ships that were as frail as their hearts were stout. Over the sea, I see them all, born upon the billowing waves and whistling wind carried upon a mighty swell of hope. Hope in the free abundance of the new land, and that was to be their home and their children's forever. This is the land that they sought and found. Every inch of the shore that their eyes first set upon, every hill and mountain that began to them with a green and purple invitation, Every mile of rolling plain that their view encompasses, every river and lake that promise a plentiful living and the fruitfulness of commerce is hollow spot to me. By the strength of their hearts and hands, by every right of law, human and divine, this land and all the opportunities thereof, the black and fertile soil, the seas and lakes and rivers simming with fish, the forests with their inexhaustible wealth in wildlife and timber, the mountains with their bowels swollen with minerals, the whole of this rich and happy land has been for centuries without numbers, the land of my fathers. This land I receive in trust from them, and in trust will I pass it to my children. And so on, until this world is no more. I am a Filipino. In my blood runs the immortal seed of heroes. Seed that flowered down the centuries in midst of courage and defiance. In my veins yet pulses the same hot blood that sent lapu-lapu to battle against the alien foe, that drove Jedo Silang and the Goho into rebellion against the foreign oppressor. That seed is immortal. It is the self-same seed that flowered in the heart of Osirisal that morning in Bagumbayan, when the valley of Shak put an end to all that was mortal of him and made his spirit deathless forever. The same seed that flowered in the hearts of Bonifacio at Balintawang, of Gregorio del Pilar at Iradvas, of Antonio Luna at Calumpi, that bloomed in flowers of frustration in the sad heart of Emilio Aguinaldo at Panay, and yet burst forth royally again in the proud heart of Manuel L. Quezon when he stood at last on the threshold of the ancient Malacanang Palace in the symbolic act of possession and racial vindication. The seed I bear within me is an immortal seed. It is the mark of my manhood, the symbol of dignity as a human being. Like the seed that were once buried in the tomb of Tutankhamen many thousand years ago, it shall grow and flower and bear fruit again. It is the insignia of my race, and my generation is but a stage to the unending search of my people for freedom and happiness. I am a Filipino, child of the marriage of the East and the West. The East with its languor and mysticism, its passivity and endurance was my mother. And my sire was the West, that came thundering across the seas with the cross and the sword and the machine. 
I am populist, an eager participant in its struggles for liberation from imperialist guilt. But I also know that the East must awake from its century sleep. Shape of the lethargy that has bound these limbs and start moving where destiny awaits. For I, too, am of the West. And the vicarious people of the West have destroyed forever the peace and quiet that once were ours. I can no longer live being apart from those who are now trembles the roar of bomb and cannon shot. For no man and no nation is an island. Only individuals and nations making those momentous choices that are hinges which upon history resolves. At the vanguard of progress in this part of the world, I stand. A forlorn figure in the eyes of some, but not as one defeated and lost. For through the thick interlacing branches of habit and custom above me, I have seen the light of the sun. And I know that it is good. I have seen the light of justice and equality and freedom. And my heart has been lifted by the vision of democracy beyond the power of any man or nation to subvert or destroy. I am a Filipino, and this is my inheritance. What pledge shall I give that I may prove worthy of my inheritance? I shall give the pledge that has come ringing down the corridors of the centuries, and it must be compounded by the joyous cries of my Malayan forebears. When they first saw the contour of this land loom before their eyes, of the battle cries that have resounded in every field of combat from Aptan to Tirad Pass, of the voices of my people when they sing, Land of the morning, Child of the sun returning, nurse shall invaders trample thy sacred shore. Out of the lush green of these seven thousand isles, out of the heartstrings of sixteen million people, all vibrating to one song, I shall weave the mighty fabric of my pledge. Out of the songs of farmers at sunrise when they go to labor in the fields. Out of the sweat of hard-beaten pioneers in Mali and Coronadal. Out of the silent intrigues of steep force of fears and the ominous gumbling of peasants from Panga. Out of the crushing of gears and whites of turbines in the factories. Out of the crunch of puffs of turning the earth. Out of the limitless patience of teachers in the classroom and doctors in the clinics. Out of the trump of soldiers marching. I shall be the battle of my bench. I am a Filipino, born of freedom, and I shall not rest until freedom shall have been added unto my inheritance. For myself and my children's children forever. I am a Filipino by Carlos Lee.